Just thinking of marrying Rhaegar to Marjorie Tyrell. Bringing a bit of peace to the to the Tyrell line kind of thing. Ideally, what I wanted is a, a kid. Like Viserys, but he's, he's way too young at the moment. Is the only problem that we have. I'm looking for someone to marry him. Well, I know Garland took the first fucking opportunity he got to siege and steal bloody <laughs> Castle Rock from some, from what's his face. But he's maimed and he's depressed. He I, I don't really think that he's going to uh, live much longer, really. But I believe all of my girls are now betrothed to, to yeah she's betrothed to the heir of the reach yep she's betrothed to the heir of the reach she's betrothed to the heir of the iron isles she's betrothed to the current lord paramount of that lord paramount of dawn as well and she is betrothed to the heir to the riverlands I don't know. See, the I, I wanted the line to continue for her, but really, I don't know. I'd rather have the, the Conningtons continue to rule, but I suppose we could grant it to them at a later date and name them the Lord Paramounts, or give it to younger sons, I guess, of the Targaryen line. Yeah, screw it. In other words, we we broke off the engagement, and now we're <laughs> putting them back on again. Uh -huh. We'll inherit the Stormlands, then, I suppose, as well. There's still Connington's left alive. But at the very least, they'll live on through my blood, I suppose. If not just through the female line. I'd have liked it another way, you know, for not to control it directly. But I always end up with control of the bloody... Of the bloody Stormlands. And every playthrough that I do, I always end up with control of the Stormlands. Every fucking time. See, the guys from the Golden Road and all these lot, they, uh... Yeah, there's still some Lannisters left. They will no doubt try to dispute the succession at some point during all of this. My dragon is incredibly diplomatic, apparently. That's really helpful. <laughs> I think it's because I got my dumbass wife to... <laughs> yeah, she, she uh, tutored the dragon, which was a stupid fucking idea, didn't really. At least I'm turning her into a honourable wife, I suppose. Worthy wife for a Targaryen prince, probably. Plus the entire of the Stormlands under my control. Once we... You know, once shit goes down. The Florence finally got what they wanted, which is Lordship of the uh, the Reach, which they begged King Aegon for a long time ago.
See, I could do a uh, Dragon Conquest of pretty much everywhere else if I wanted to as well. Now we can appoint a better hand of the king. Uh, the hand of the king is a steward, so... Hmm. We can make an ironborn serve as hand of the king. It works, I suppose. I have no idea. Could make mud my, you know, but... Don't worry about that in a minute. Uh, we need to select a Warden of the West. We will name Florin, obviously, Warden of the... Here we go. Warden of the South. He really doesn't like me. <laughs> he has no claim. He desires the Westerlands, but he has absolutely no claim to it. I may actually name Harlor Warden of the West. Especially since he, you know, controls all this and everything. Yeah. Fuck it. Harlor is now Warden of the West. And my master of ships. Mark Tyrell is not going to inherit any claims to the Reach. Nope, no claims. See, Mace has Lord has claim to the Reach, but uh, he's not going to get it anytime soon, I'm afraid. Tom Lannister was executed after all the fucking time and effort I put into him. I need to find a suitable princess for him as well. Ideally a Tyrell or somebody with claim. I would have liked to marry, you know, somebody off to him, but you know, I don't know. Hmm. Thing. Mm. 
I may hold a Grand Tony now that we're sort of semi at peace. Good marrying the Lady Caitlin. Caitlin, I suppose. Secure my alliance with the Muds even further. I think we'll leave it for now. It might come in handy later on to have a, uh, you know, have a prince able to be wedded off to somebody. Yeah, fuck it. We'll make Marbon my hand of the king for a little bit. See if he can serve me loyally or not. <laughs> nah, actually, the guy I had originally was better. Funny a little bit. Thank you. I'm not sure how long Garland's going to last, but I'll send Daenerys to improve relations with him. You know, he's burned what remains of him, at least. <laughs> There's not much of the guy left. Yep, he's a fine one for now. We don't really need a septum. Uh, my event is still to do that. Ronaldston, my friend. I think uh, Varys is dead. I think he fell, you know, went away quite a while back. How's my son's training going? He is a skilled fighter currently. I let Swarm uh, train him as well. He's a skilled fighter. He's going to need it if he's going to tame my dragon when he comes of age. Because the dragon goes back shit when the rider dies. And then someone new has to tame him kind of thing. That's how it works. But since the realm is at overall peace now, I believe... I will, however, quickly give certain vassals to the Florence. Ah, that's why I couldn't see them. They're on the shield island.
This may take a while. I believe these are all the Yeah, I believe these guys are all the fucking forces that joined me back in the war kind of thing. That turned or just didn't fight with the, the Tyrells and that's why they're my vassals rather than his. Which is silly because I'd rather have his kind of thing, you know. Um, Lord Stephen of Roseford. I cannot appear to give him... Ah, because he's attacking Lord Stephen of Roseford. Okay. Didn't notice that much. One day I will claim Castle Rock, but for now. Sarsfield wishes. Turn the Lannis support supports the Dogger Hound, the Dawnus Masters, Craig Call, Ashmark, the Crag, Silver Hill, Golden Tooth, Flea Bottom. Hmm. He does have quite a few supporters, and he has an heir to continue on the line. Sarsfield. Not a particularly powerful house, nor is it one that actually joined me during the war. We'll be inheriting the Stormlands anyway, I suppose, so... Um... I don't see why not. I suppose so. He has an heir... And he has quite a few lords backing his support, so yes. As you wish. Return of the Dornish Marshes we're going to give to back to the Lord of the Stormlands because
Now the Stormlands has a tiny section in the Westerlands. There you go. How Sarsfield have uh, risen to the rank of Lord Paramounts of the Westerlands. He is Master of Ships, definitely, but I want to give, now that we actually have a Warden of the West. Small Council Advisor, definitely. Put my cousin on the Small Council as well. Mud himself can be on the council. I don't particularly yeah, he'll be master of horse, that's fine, keep him a little bit happier. But yeah, the Stormlands is going to be mine anyway, so I may as well give the Westerlands to him and let him see if he can prove worthy to hold it. But at least he gets with the Lannisters, and he had the backing of quite a few lords. So hopefully, he gets to keep it and we don't see too much trouble from him. I mean, the crag supported him, so that's got to be enough, right? Anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep going. Hopefully, the Westerlands' little war will subside. Assuming that Garland is going to live, for you furious maims, and you know, he's pretty much a cripple now. I mean, he came up against my dragon many times and survived. So hopefully he'll, uh, he does like me a bit more now. Now that he no longer desires the... Yeah, he no longer desires the Westerlands. He actually likes me a bit more. I wouldn't call him a friend still, but you know. <laughs> At least he's not out for my blood. Although his father may still be. He doesn't have enough power now that Florence of... Uh, Long been claiming that they have better claims of the reach anyway. That little war on the reach is still going on. I want the war on the reach to end, so then I can... Yeah, proud of him. That's nice. Just. I want the war on the reach to end, so that then we can host a regional tourney and uh, invite all the lords. And to do that, I'd rather them not be at war 
and they're more likely to accept and come help. How is it taking the reach this long to, uh... Oh, my wife is seeking to do someone's legitimacy. I don't care about any of that. Really. I can arrest my own wife for investigating somebody's legitimacy that I don't give two shits about. That seems like a very, very wise idea. <laughs> the Westerlands are at peace, which is nice. It would be great if Daenerys could pop out another kid, but, you know. I have got loads as it is, I just haven't got many boys. I've got two sons and buddy a bunch load of girls. Valerian looks like really badass compared to mine, doesn't he? Do, 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 do. Martian the Hargan has been a success. Woohoo! Can I build anything in King's Landing, I'm wondering? Tiny slave pit I could build if I wanted to, for some reason. I could build a dragon pit. Yeah, it increases their chance of taming or hatching dragons. Usually prevent dragons flying away. Fuck off. Usually prevent dragons from flying away to Dragonstone upon their owner's defeat. Now that might be nice, but, you know. <laughs> Way to go, Daenerys. Piss him off, why don't you? He's maimed and depressed. Lightly depressed because his family has been... Um, he's been burnt by fire and no doubt watched a lot of his friends get killed. Like, in horrible, horrible ways. I have no idea what the Reach is doing or how the hell they lose. Well, actually, I do know what they're doing. They're charging in like that with shit morale and getting their asses candid to them. Is this the fucking leadership that we're to expect from the, from the fucking Florence, huh? Albeit it is led by an old man, Mace was old as well. Yeah, that's them almost done. I won't go into any tawnies just yet. Usually I did. Uh, when we were at peace before the before the previous war slash rebellion. King Aegon was pretty much going to every like thing that there was really. 